You're being pressed, squeezed beyond endurance. The pressure mounts. You're at the breaking point. Even the magnificent surroundings are unable to fully repress the crushing feeling that overwhelms your senses. I don't think the beauty is what crushed everyone in this race. It was that, you know, the elevation and the, the roads and the, the climbing. It's the crusher in the tushers, a bike race that earns its name on dirt, pavement, and incline. It's, it's hard to really put a description to it because there's nothing else really like it out there. But the best way I've tried to describe it is a, is a, a road dirt race. And that's what's so great about it. It's not a mountain bike race. It's not a road race. It's an amalgamation of the two. And, uh, you know, the area, since it does have a lot of great, uh, you know, non-paved roads and a lot of great paved roads, and of course, incredible beauty all around. You know, I've, I've been thinking about doing this for 10 years. Uh, after retiring from racing last year, I, I knew immediately this was the first thing I wanted to do after I, I finished racing was to put on an event up here. For event organizer Bert Swindlehurst, Crusher in the Tushers is the culmination of a lifetime of cycling. The 79-mile course started in the small town of Beaver, Utah, snaking through forest lands on gravel and dirt, punctuated by pavement. Elevations that range from 6,000 to almost 12,000 feet push cyclists to the limit and beyond. The pain is disgusting. The climb out of junction that they did, uh, the dirt climb, is one of the most painful climbs I've ever ridden in my life. It's very rough, it's open, it's exposed, it's hot. You can never find the right gear and it just goes on forever. This is one of the hardest cycling events I've ever done in my life. Gravel roads, steep climbs, heat, the worst pain I've ever felt in my life and still stayed on my bike. <laughs> While some enjoyed the pain more than others, the difficulty of the crusher was only part of the appeal. Brutal climbs are relatively easy to find, but views like these are fewer and farther between. I've got so many people coming up to me saying, I had no idea this was here. I've driven past Beaver, but I had no idea the mountains were here. And so that's another thing that's been really special to me is to be able to show people a place that's so, so close to my heart. There are so many beautiful sections of the course with all the wildflowers, and I saw some of the tallest aspen trees I've ever seen in my life. And it was something I just really enjoyed. And it was a real, I think for every athlete out there, every rider out there, it was a personal battle because it, everyone was just coming in one by one. And it was a matter of if you could fight through the pain and keep pushing mile after mile after mile. And it was awesome. This is a perfect getaway. It's, you know, we're sitting out here and it's comfortable and breezy. And so even if you don't want to crush yourself on a bike race, still can get away to the cool weather and the beautiful scenery and just relax. As racers finally pulled to the finish at Eagle Point Resort, high in the Tusher Mountains, spirits were high. Even with all the pain of climbing steep elevations and braving gravel roads through dense forests, enthusiasm for next year's race seemed even stronger than it did a few hours earlier, before these cyclists got crushed. My favorite part is having people come up to me afterwards and tell me he wants to punch me, but he's gonna give me a hug instead. Uh, they've tested their limits, you know, physically, and me mentally, and emotionally today, and they come up and just have nothing but a big smile on their face. It may not sound like fun, but sometimes being crushed can be one heck of an experience. For AYL, I'm Susan Wood.